the next topic will be to define the loading group as I said earlier we need different loading group to define how the goods will be loaded using cranes forklift or using manual labor and so forth so we have come to this topic here now define loading group let me show you how to define that it is the same as uh, defining shipping conditions logistic execution shipping basic shipping function shipping point determination and this third option here execute it just a simple table if you double click there's no another, another screen so it's just a two fields that you need to enter enter Z crane for crane using crane the other one is forklift is fork using forklift then manual labor is Z M A N using manual labor enter and save it so we have all the loading groups defined now these loading groups must be assigned to the materials yeah so that we know which material require what type of loading group let us do that now okay in order to do that let us go to mm01 and choose the material 1247 prior to this you should have created this material and press enter and you'll get this pop-up pop window I presume you have already created a material now choose this option here sales general plan data click OK choose New York and press enter you just choose available check, check uh, 01 transportation group you can choose anything you want and loading group this is a field that will be filling now these are the three loading groups we have created so we need to create this loading group cranes choose this one and save right we have saved it so this is how we create a loading group and assign to different materials so now the system will know that this material 1247 will require a crane in order to in order to be loaded to ship or airplane.